The Realme 3 Pro with its Snapdragon 710 processor and affordable price point is definitely a great purchase for anyone looking for a budget smartphone with great performance chops. So if you have just bought one, you can be rest assured that you made the right choice. However, there are some things about the phone that I don't like. For instance, I am not a huge fan of Realme's color OS or the phone's camera performance. I mean, it's not bad by any means and you can make a couple of changes to improve your experience. But uh, that's what you should know about and that's what we will tell you about today. So this is Abhijit from Guiding Tech and in this video, I'll be sharing some cool tips and tricks for the Realme 3 Pro that you must try. So let's get right to it, shall we? To kick things off, let's focus on the camera first and let's replace that all together with the Gcam mod, at least for still images. I'm sure you'd already know that Gcam mod is capable of leveling up any smartphone's camera performance and it's pretty much the same here. Just download the Gcam APK linked in the description and install it on your phone and click away. You'll definitely notice a major difference in the overall image quality, but there's one setting you'll need to change first. With the default settings, the Gcam mod clicks very flat looking photos. To fix that, just jump into the camera settings and tap on the BSG mod settings option. Here, select the fix option right at the bottom and turn on the Pixel 3 AWB setting. That's it, the images clicked with the mod are now more vibrant and the details are of course top notch. If for whatever reason you don't want to use the Gcam mod on your phone, then I've got a couple of tricks for the stock camera app as well. First off, the stock camera allows you to take 64 megapixel photos and you should turn on that setting if you want to click slightly better looking photos. So to click 64 megapixel photos with your phone, open up the camera app and switch to the expert mode by tapping on the menu icon. Here, tap on the center toggle on the top to turn on Ultra HD mode. The Ultra HD mode essentially lets you capture 64 megapixel shots. But on the downside, the phone takes a bit of time to process these images. Speaking of time, did you know you can click 960 FPS super slow-mo videos with your phone? Well, now you do. Here's how to do it. Open up the stock camera app and tap on the menu button to switch to the slow motion mode. Tap on the FPS toggle in the center and switch to 960 FPS. Isn't that simple? Now enjoy capturing some super slow-mo videos on your phone. Just make sure you are in a bright, well-lit environment or the videos won't look good. Now that you know some handy little tricks about capturing photos and videos on your new phone, let's talk about safely storing these files. Yes, I'm talking about a secret location on your phone where you can store private photos and videos without worrying about people accidentally seeing them. To store photos in a private location, long press on the photo you want to hide and select the set as private option. The photo will immediately disappear from the gallery. Now if you're wondering how you can access these hidden photos, allow me to demonstrate. In the gallery app, long press on the photo's text at the top. This will trigger a prompt that will ask you to set a passcode. Set the passcode and it will open up the secret location with all your hidden photos. The next time you long press on the text, you will just need to enter the passcode. But do you know what does have fingerprint support? App locking and private safe. Yes, that's right. You can lock individual apps on the Realme 3 Pro and unlock them quickly with just your fingerprint. You can even set up a private safe with all your sensitive files and access that with your fingerprint. To do so, head to the settings and open up the fingerprint, face and passcode settings. Here, select the fingerprint option and then tap on the use fingerprint for option. Turn on the settings for both app lock and private safe. Select the app lock option from the following menu and choose the apps that you want to lock. You can also set up your private safe from the same menu where you'll be able to store all your sensitive files. Now even if you lock down apps and files on your phone, there's still a chance that your kid might accidentally see something that they are not meant to see. So if you want to avoid that at all costs, you can use the kid space feature on your phone. It's a pretty convenient option which will let you restrict app access, turn off mobile data and set a limit, I should say time limit on your phone. To set it up, head over to the settings and jump into the security settings. Here, select the kit space option and set a duration, along with all the apps that you want to give them access to. 
Then just tap on enter kit space and you'll be redirected to a new home screen with just the apps that you have granted access to. The kit space is passcode protected and you can easily exit it by tapping on the quit kit space option and entering your passcode. Next, let's talk about a cool gesture setting that will let you enter split screen multitasking with just a three finger swipe. No fussing with the multitasking menu required. To enable the gesture, head over to the settings and select the app split screen option. Turn on the gesture and you're all set. Now, whenever you are in a supported app, you can just swipe up with three fingers and enter split screen multitasking like a pro. If you want such simple gestures for other things as well, like for the back button or the multitasking menu, or perhaps the notification shade, you can use the assistive ball. The option adds a simple customizable overlay that will let you open all these settings with just taps. To use the assistive ball, open up settings and head over to the convenience aid options. Here, tap on the assistive ball option and turn it on. Then customize the gestures according to your convenience. Rounding things off is a sound setting which will help you customize the audio output from the headphone jack. To customize the sound profile for your headphones, go to the sound and vibration settings and select the real sound technology option. Turn it on and then fiddle with the equalizer and sound effects to get the audio profile that's perfect for you. The difference is pretty noticeable, just try it out yourself. That sums it up for today's video, make sure to try out these tips on your new device and share your favorite tricks in the comment section below. Also share this video with all your friends who just got the Realme 3 Pro. This is Abhijit signing off and I'll see you in the next one.